my name is Nativeader, and today we're looking at something rather bootleggy. Uh, I happened to be looking on AliExpress, and uh, one thing stood out and caught my eye, and I thought, there's no way that thing's real. Uh, so I hit the Buy Now button, and eight days later, it arrived. And oh my goodness, what a bootleg this is. Uh, it's of course an Indominus Rex, if you haven't spotted. Uh, light and sound action dinosaur. Um, wow, I couldn't believe this thing actually looked like the photos uh, from the website. So what we'll do is we'll have a look around the box and then we'll take this thing out of the packaging and have a play with it. So what you get is a bootleg Indominus Rex figure. Um, and from what I can tell straight away, it looks really good. Obviously the head sculpt does look different. Um, a few people on social media have sort of likened this to, say, a juvenile um, Indominus Rex, which I can kind of see. Um, on the side of the box here, it does show you some of its gimmicks, which it does have moving arms and it opens its mouth and has lights. So it does take um, a pinch from the camouflage and battle Indominus Rex and the earlier version of the Indominus Rex from Mattel, which was the Destroy and Devour. So they've sort of combined the two bits. It doesn't have the swallowing feature, um, but it does have everything else. Uh, I'll just give you a close up there of the images. You can see there it says forearm open, open mouth, light when you press. There are two different buttons here for two different features, one for the arms and one for the mouth. And the mouth one, I believe, operates the lights and sounds. Um, just give you a quick look at the head there in the box. It does, I've got to say, I love the paint apps. I think they've done a really nice job with that. Whoever it is, oh, here you go. It's um, Dinosaurs Island Toys. That's who made this. Uh, it's a good, good brand. Uh, on the back of the box there is like a cutout here for putting your hand in to operate the button on the back but uh, I'm not going to bother with that. Um, and on the back here there, <laughs> there is some text so buckle up. Dinosaurs lived about 235 million years to 65 million years ago. Hind legs to support the body upright type of animals. Dominate the global terrestrial ecosystems more than 160 million years. Most dinosaurs have become extinct, but the descendants of dinosaurs, birds, to survive and reproduce. Dinosaurs from 5 million to 65.95 million years ago. Hind legs to support the body upright type of terrestrial animals is a group of diversified advantages. Well, that was a mouthful. <laughs> okay, well, take that information uh, if you if you want to. Um, I'm not going to be able to go through all this. This looks it is different there is something else here there is a barcode as well that says indominus rex <laughs> um oh my God. it's it's very similar text there but very um broken english and uh, on this side you have got some more pictures of the indominus rex in action um don't know about the sway it definitely doesn't have sway i know it has Upping, uh, open and closing mouth features, but that's about it. Uh, the forearms do open and close, and uh, the, the, there we go. It's just the open mouth and light again there. It just has a couple of things there saying, I've got to be three plus, and I've got to have a horn, and possibly a star. Um, well, I'm definitely three plus, so I don't think I've got a horn though. Uh, and I love the stolen artwork there from Fallen Kingdom uh, with Rexy. Um, and on the top of the box, uh, don't forget to install, I don't think you need anything, um, maybe like Windows 95 or something like that at least to install this tail. Um, and again there it just says light and sound action dinosaur. And a bit of, uh, they've even got a bit of stone sort of effect or salt flat looking uh, ground there inside the box. So they have gone, you know, quite out their way to package this thing. So uh, without further ado, I think what we'll do is get this thing out of the box. Alright, so when you get all the packaging out of the way, you are left with one Indominus Rex and one tail. Um, the tail... Uh, it has a bit like the Tyrannosaurus Rex bite and fight sort of uh, tail going on there. Very light, very kind of thin, but still strong. I mean, that's not, you know, I'm not going to be able to break that. 
Um, but uh, the detail, if I just get a close up there. Yeah, there's, there's plenty of detail, they haven't skimped on that, but what they, <laughs> they do have, unfortunately, this Indominus Rex suffers from Hasbro Syndrome. Um, so it's got a lot of screw holes, unfortunately. So a lot of 2015 vibes, but certainly not 2015 sculpts to say that uh, for the least. I mean, look at this thing. It looks pretty impressive, got to say. Um, so when you get out of the box, uh, not a bad weight, I suppose. And again, feels wise, it, it's solid, pretty solid. Uh, I was expecting, you know, kind of junky plastic, but it feels pretty nice. Uh, we have, unfortunately, had like some kind of shootout or something uh, because the Indominus Rex is riddled again with screw holes. Hasbro Syndrome um, has taken another life, unfortunately. Um, but besides that, I mean, it's not so bad. Um, I think the sculpt sort of redeems that uh, that sort of tragedy. Uh, so let's get the tail installed. So there is a, what looks like a USB port hole, which I really hope that isn't um, in the back. There is. Oh, now that's interesting. There's a quick, is that a quick release feature? Didn't mention that on the install. Maybe I didn't get the update. Um, right. Well, I imagine it only goes in one way. Oh, wow. It, it, it. <laughs> Tell you what, that's one thing Mattel doesn't have because once you pop these things in, that's it. So, you know, that's cool. I, I quite like that, actually, because if you wanted to put that back in the box, you could. Um, right, so... Does it stand? It probably just needs a bit of adjustment, it's my bad. Okay. Um, do you know what? That doesn't look so bad. It's got... Its arms probably are a bit, bit big, maybe? Maybe a tiny bit big. But, yeah. Again, it looks okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm struggling. For a bootleg, I'm struggling to say you know horrible things about it because it's not made by a, a ma massive company. It's made by some randomer in China. Um, so let's have a look. Let's have a look at the features. Let's, look, let's start with the head. So the sculpt wise, it's it's pretty nice. There's obviously some paint apps here going across the snout through the eye and then fading out towards the back of the face. That is it for paint apps, I believe. There is some in the plastic, but I think that's just in the pigment of the plastic. They've managed to chuck some of these uh, these gray spots into the plastic. It doesn't look like it's paint to me. But that is all over the body. There isn't anything else at all. It's just the head. Um, inside the mouth, you do have it's very similar to the genuine Indominus Rex figure. You've got uh, a molded section top and bottom of the mouth. And you do have a rubber tongue, which I think is amazing. Probably play with that for too long. Uh, the eye, if I can get that to focus, is painted pretty well. Just check the other side to make sure I haven't been scammed. No, it looks, looks pretty good. And the teeth as well have been painted very nicely. Not too sharp. Like I say, it is sort of based off maybe the Destroy and Devour more than the more recent version, but it sort of shares a bit of both. Um, but not bad at all. Uh, the head is a little bit wide maybe, but not too bad. But again, like really nice sculpt and loads of detail all over, like all the, the bumps and crests all over this thing are really nice. Uh, even down to the rippling here behind the arm. Uh, the arms do have joints, um, they do have 360 rotation in and out and also obviously with this action feature you can put those, that grabbing feature that they did boast about on the box and you have got the lights as well. So there you go. You only get that one colour mind, it's not um, like it's a variety of colours, which again it's not a bad thing. Um, the legs do have a range of motion, but only there to there. Um, I wouldn't want to push that, but it feels like it has locked in place once it gets to that point there. So 
You do get a sort of walking pose there if you wanted to. You could probably get that just about right if you're doing toy photography. Um, you do get an ankle pivot here. Very similar to the, the official figure. Um, just check the other side to make sure that one isn't. Ooh. So there it does lock out. And it does go that far as well. So there is a small range of movement on the legs. Um, the tail does not have a pivot here, really. There is something going on there, but I think it's more of a, a loose joint. But like I say, you do get the bite and fight style T-Rex tail pivot here. Um, and you do have the button at the back here for the roaring uh, feature. So it's only two sounds and it sounds like to me that it's um, some of the dev uh, destroy and devour sound clips but heavily compressed as well so um, it's definitely the official sounds but they've been sort of watered down um, and the, the lights are pretty cool as well and they do last a little bit longer than I thought they were going to um, but that's about it really I suppose what we could do is just bring in what it's actually <laughs> meant to look like and well you know this guy is you know miles ahead I mean I think he is a pretty impressive figure just a really evil looking face I've got to say uh, but you could say yes it is like a juvenile of the official one uh, there is obviously more detail going on here with the spikes on the back of the neck there um, and more definition in the face um, there is a bit of paint apps on the back here but that's something you could add yourself like I say for for what it is you could probably modify this one um, or re-sculpt it to be some kind of other carnivore doesn't have to be necessarily an Indominus Rex but <laughs> for a bootleg I was like wow this is pretty cool uh, length wise it's actually not far off the same as the Indominus Rex the official Indominus Rex I'd probably say, looking at that, it's about, I don't know, five centimetres shorter in tail length. But that's mainly down to this section here. If this was longer, I think you would have made up that uh, that missing uh, length there for the tail. But the, the arms, I think they've pretty much used the same forearm. Um, there's a little bit of difference, but it's not far off. Um, but they haven't scaled it down. Uh, it's, it looks a little bit too big for this body, I think. Uh, but not terrible, but you can see there's something going on. Like this this here just looks a bit too big, I think, personally. Um, and they haven't got any bumps here on the top of the hip to the legs. So there is, there is some bits that are missing, some bits that are inconsistent. But uh, again, it's not terrible. Um, I think it's pretty epic for a bootleg. Ooh, do you know what? The the bootleg lasts longer. I was expecting the the official one to. Oh my, it's still going. <laughs> it might be it might be faulty, but it did last longer than the official Mattel one. That's crazy. But they do look good together, you know, despite the screw holes. <laughs> Just a front view there. <laughs> it does it does give that sort of juvenile look to it though, with those sort of that that eye, those eyes. Yeah, it does look a little bit cuter than this. <laughs> this guy looks just all business, uh, all grown up. Whereas this one, yeah, it's just maybe yeah, if they just sort of if they'd scaled the whole thing down a bit more, I think you would have got away with like a certified juvenile Indominus Rex and that would be epic. Just trying to give a sideways comparison if I can. I mean again, they do look very similar. Probably more pronounced bumps there on the back, but these are a little bit more dulled down. But I mean any modder or toy sculptor who was uh, feeling adventurous, I think, could probably make this thing look absolutely epic if they wanted to. On the feet themselves as well, you do have painted toenails, which is pretty good because some Mattel figures recently have come without painted toenails, which is a little bit annoying. There isn't any paint apps on the Dewclaw though, which I can let that slide because to be honest, 
Again, some Mattel figures don't even bother with the dew claw. Um, and there isn't really anything on the bottom here. Just the uh, Made in China logo, which I was expecting. And uh, you can also see underneath the belly here. There isn't any paint apps, but there is the speaker here and the battery pack. And it came with batteries as well, which I thought was absolutely amazing. So on to the price. This thing cost me £35 plus postage, and that's not very cheap for a bootleg, because you could probably go into Walmart or Target and pick up a camouflage and battle uh, Indominus Rex figure for probably the same money, if not less, depending on when there's a sale. So money-wise, I don't think it's worth it. But for me, I did it for the experiment. I wanted to see that A, AliExpress actually did sell things that they say they sell on the website. I didn't get screwed. And B, that this thing was actually any good. And, you know, I've been pleasantly surprised. Um, but if you are into uh, toy modification or repaints, this thing probably has the base for something special. So you could probably mod it in some way. Um, or like some people have suggested this thing is like a juvenile Indominus Rex figure so you could probably play that and you could use it in toy photography in some way um, but for me I'm really happy with it I don't think I'm going to do anything with it I'm just I just really like bootleg figures and this thing just ticks all the boxes for me even with the screw holes Anyway, thank you guys for watching. My name is Nathie Vader. I post on Instagram and X almost daily. And of course, it's always Jurassic related. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Yes, yes. But I'm going to go play with my bootleg Indominus Rex. Uh. Oh, sorry. Also, did you know that Universal haven't trademarked the name Indominus Rex? I think that's why the Chinese got away with putting Indominus Rex on their packaging. Now, they trademarked Indoraptor, but they didn't trademark Indominus Rex. Crazy. Food for thought. Oh. <laughs>